So here we have some questions on correlation and regression that we want to answer with Microsoft Excel. So we've, give, we've been given some data, age and salary. And these are people's ages versus the salary that they earn. This is an hourly wage. And we've been asked to make a scatter plot of age versus salary, find the linear correlation coefficient, plot the regression line, find the equation of the regression line, and uh, then we've been asked if we can conclude that this is a linear relationship with a 99% confidence. So I want to start with uh, making the scatter plot. And the easiest way to do this is if you highlight your data and then you go up here to insert. Uh, on the insert tab, you've got all sorts of columns and lines. And we want a scatter plot. So we're going to tell it a scatter plot. And it's going to include that. There's our scatter plot. Nothing fancy here. Um, and we can grab this and drag it around. I don't like including my plots in my worksheet. So if you right click on this, you can tell it to move the chart. And when you click on move chart, uh, you can put it as a new sheet in chart one if you would prefer to have it as its own special tab. So anyway, there's the first thing. So there's our scatter plot. And the second thing is, see this says series one, that legend entry. I want you to right click on this, okay? And if you click select data, okay, so right click on a point, click select data. Here it says series one, you click edit. You want to change the name of this series. You want to change the name of this series to call it something like age versus salary, okay? So you always right click on a point. And that's how you get to really your, your best menu options, age versus salary. The other thing is some people are very picky about where this legend is located. Some other things I'll show you in a minute. One thing real quick, we've got age versus salary. We've got age on the x-axis, salary on the vertical axis, the y-axis. If these were backwards, if these were not what I wanted, if these were not what I wanted, um, I could easily, when I go into select my data, I could switch row and column here. So that's an important thing. Um, the other thing, so so anyway, there's our scatter plot, and we can see that for the most part, once you hit uh, an age above 20, um, and we're assuming that means you've graduated from college, that this looks fairly linear. Although there's a couple of points down here that don't. So the second thing we want to do is we want to find. Um, I want to move this legend real quick. Format legend. Put it at the top. So that's just a, a personal thing here. Um, so and we can stretch this. We can move things around. We can uh, we can make our chart smaller. We can move this guy up here. Um, we could go in and delete this if we wanted to. Um, so let me delete that since we've got age versus salary up here. So just you play around with it. You see you can move things around. You can stretch it. You can shrink it. So anyway, that's how we get our scatter plot. So there's our scatter plot. Find the linear linear correlation coefficient. Now to do this we want to use a built-in formula for Excel. So equals RSQ. Okay. RSQ. Okay. And that's the uh, root mean square uh, regression coefficient or R. If you uh, any standard statistics book talks about the correlation coefficient R. Uh, RSQ is R in Microsoft Excel. And uh, when we throw up a parentheses, it's going to tell us what it wants. It wants known y's and known x's. Okay. So since the y-axis is salary, I'm going to highlight, click and hold this entire range. That's my known y's. Put a comma, and then I'm going to highlight this range here. That's my known x's. Close your parentheses and hit enter. And that is your linear correlation coefficient. We're going to use that to answer the last question in just a moment. The third question says to plot the regression line. Uh, go again back to your graph. Right click on a point and tell it you want to add a trend line. Add a trend line. Now it's going to ask you what type of trend line. We're talking about linear regression, so we want to keep it on linear. That's the default. Okay, that's the default. Now, it's going to automatically plot this line for us. While we're in this menu, go ahead and click Display Equation and display the R value. Okay, 
click close now here I taught you how to find the R value in Excel but if you have to plot if you have to plot a scatter plot not only can you get the equation so there's your equation so I can type that equation and I can say y equals 0.493x plus 5.2388 so there's my regression equation right off the plot but I can also see 0 0.8943 0 0.8943 so I can find that just by plotting it okay so I can get that information right off the plot okay so then the last question is can we conclude that this is a linear relationship with 99 percent confidence now in most statistics books you have a table okay it is a table of critical values for the Pearson correlation coefficient R okay it is the relationship of critical values and what we want to do is we want to look at alpha and alpha is either going to be 0 0.01 or 0 0.05 and in this case 99 percent confidence that means that alpha equals 0 0.01 okay that's what's outside of our confidence interval okay and uh, then we want to look at n okay we want to look at n how many things do we have here how many items and uh, if you count these up you get n equals 16 okay you get n equals 16 there are 16 data points on our scatter plot okay so n equals 16 now if you go to um, your uh, most people call this the critical values critical values of the Pearson correlation coefficient okay which is also known as R okay if you find that table it's gonna have n and it's gonna have alpha and we're looking for n equals 16 and alpha equals 0 0.01 and under these conditions we get 0 0.623 okay that is the critical value for R that is the critical value for R and I just noticed that Microsoft Excel was slightly too helpful for me so I have to change my typing here okay this value this 0.623 means if your R value is higher than that this data is in fact considered linear if it is lower than that then this data is in fact considered nonlinear okay so we take this value 0.623 our R value is much higher so we assume that this data is linear it can be modeled linearly okay and again it looks very linear except for a couple of points so uh, it's a very interesting question on correlation and regression it's a very easy way to make Excel do this uh, if you had to do this manually to find R manually to find the equation of the regression line manually would be extremely difficult uh, so if you have any questions about this example, um, please let me know and uh, please feel free to play around with Excel. Uh, it, is, it is very useful for linear regression, linear equations, um, and uh, correlation coefficients. Very, very quick to find for, for, for large data sets versus doing it manually. So if you have any questions, please let me know.